I'm sick of this filthy town. Twits and goons run the streets and no one seems to do a damn thing about it. Well, that'll change soon enough when I get my hands on them. Come in. She strolled in, looking like she just stepped out of the page of an upscale fashion magazine. And all I could think was what I wouldn't give to be the subscription card that rests between her pages. What can I do for you, toots? I have a case that only a talented gumshoe like yourself can solve. I can pay you by the hour using coins or greenbacks, but if you prefer other means of payment, we might just have to figure something out. Well, I don't do business with a woman. That is, until I get her name. It's Missy. Missy Fleming. And cut. Why, hello there. Sounds like these two sassy characters are going to be going at it all night. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do want to talk to you about something. So go ahead and come with me. So what are we looking at right now? Many of you at some point have seen this style of filmmaking in the classic crime dramas made famous in the 1940s and 50s. This style of filmmaking is called film noir, and it is a filmatic style that utilizes shadows and high black and white contrast to convey dramatic and suspenseful emotions throughout a film. The trick to this look is to be clean and crisp, at the same time keeping your whites and tints and focused on what you want your viewers to see. Utilizing techniques like unique camera angles, silhouettes, smoke, and lighting of the eyes can dramatically increase the effectiveness of the film noir style that you are trying to achieve. Now, let's see what would happen if we keep this scene black and white, but remove this highly effective film noir style of lighting. Action! I wasn't sure what just happened. There must have been some kind of power surge. Oh well, better find out about this case. Um, so, um, what, what, what's, the, what's this case that you need help with? What is it? Well, it's a, <coughs> it's a pay job. It would be right up your alley. My sister, she went missing a couple weeks ago, and I just, I really need help finding her. Pretty painful, right? Notice the dull colors and heavy fill lighting. This will cause your characters to be evenly lit and as a result, completely eliminating the hard contrast between your blacks and whites. You want to steer clear of this, otherwise you will not achieve the film noir look that you want. So, how can we get our characters back to their former, witty selves? Let's try reintroducing the film noir lighting style back into the scene and see if that does the trick. The first thing you'll need to do is introduce hard lights onto your set. Next, you will want to focus the lights onto your subject in order to show the viewer what you're wanting to emphasize. Use the barn doors on your lights to do this. This will narrow the field of light that is lighting your subject and only bring out what you want the viewer to see. To achieve the film noir lighting style, remember to use dark shadows and crisp black and white contrast. Film noir lighting is known for its lighting styles that shows a character's personality by the way they are lit. You can see if we place the light at a lower angle, it gives the character a more menacing look. Or, if we place the light at a higher angle, slightly behind our subject, we can achieve a more mysterious or silhouette look. Remember to try to utilize as many of the film noir techniques mentioned earlier, like smoke and lighting of the eyes. To successfully light the eyes of your subject, you can either use the barn doors on your lights or create a small slit in a piece of paper or cardboard. This is called creating a cookie. Well there you have it guys, all the tips and tricks you will need to effectively capture that classic film noir look for your next project. Now, let's get back to our favorite sassy couple. Do we have ourselves a deal? I thought about the offer long and hard, only to come up with the same answer every time. I had seen it all, but this butte was something I would have to see more of. You got yourself a detective. <laughs>